Hey, welcome back everyone. So in today's lecture, we're going to continue with our Surfshop application, uh, Surfboard Craigslist type application. And so yesterday we did, or in the last lecture, we did uh, the bootstrapping of our Express application. And we also got our Trello board set up. A student uh, sent me an email and he said, why aren't we using like the checklist feature of Trello uh, in some of our cards? So for instance, in the design the database model card, I have uh, the description here with users post review. Let's go ahead and take that out. And then we'll put in a checklist here and we'll add some items. So we'll add the user model and then the uh, post model and the review model and we can get that out of here and we can just say something like design models and we'll save that. Okay, so now the way this works is once we're done with something, we can just click check on it and we even get a nice little bar here telling us, oh, you're 33% through completing this checklist. So I'm gonna uncheck that since we haven't done it yet. And another thing that uh, he mentioned to me was whenever running the express generator, uh, he did not get, I believe, body parser and serve uh, favicon. Serve favicon, not a huge deal unless you wanna have a favorite icon up in the corner of your um, tabs and window and stuff. But the body parser is super important. So if for whatever reason your package JSON dependencies does not have body parser, that didn't get pre-installed whenever you did the um, express generator in the first or the second video, then go ahead and run the npm i-s body dash parser and make sure that that gets installed. And as of the recording of this video, the version is 1.18.3, so anything around there uh, should be good. Okay, so moving forward, today we are going to design our database. So we'll go ahead and put this into currently doing. And right now, all we have is user, post, and review. So let's go ahead and start with the user. So I'm gonna put user right here and the user is gonna have some properties obviously. So email and password, the password will be uh, hashed and salted from um, Passport. And then we can have a username and then the user is going to have many posts and the user is going to have many reviews. Uh, so a user can post something and then they can also review other people's posts. And there may be some other stuff that we add later. We'll go ahead and leave that uh, how it is for now. And then so email, string, basically th these are all gonna be strings except for, let's see here, username is string, 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 string. And then the post is gonna be an array of objects or documents. Uh, so array of objects. And then that these are gonna reference the post and the review models so we can do something like ref post ref and ref just stands for reference uh, review okay so that's for user let's go ahead and skip down here and we'll do post and then the post is going to have a a title and a price and a description and Let's see here, an author and the post will have many reviews also, um, which makes me think, does the user need to have all the reviews? So the reason we would put it here is so that like in the dashboard, you could see all the reviews that you created. I'll leave it there for now. Whenever we get to that point where we're actually writing the code, we'll make the executive decision of whether or not we're gonna keep that. Because the review itself, which we're about to create, is gonna have an author. So if we wanna look up the user that created the review, we could do it from within the uh, review itself. Okay, so title, price, description, author, reviews. And let's put it up here beneath description. Let's say images and location so that should be it if you know if we think of anything later we'll add it in and then so we can do review review has a 
a body and then it has an author and that should be it so let's go ahead and start building out our uh, let's see here which one should we do first <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna back it up a little bit uh, I'm gonna move this one back over into the backlog now that we've uh, fooled with it and we're gonna go ahead and jump over to our routes so we need to do some restful routes and we can uh, test them to make sure that you know when we access those routes in the browser it sends us back the appropriate response